Dear students, welcome to NIOS. In this video, we will learn about the stain, types of stain, and the method. and techniques of their removal. What is stain? A stain is an unwanted mark of discoloration on a fabric caused due to contact with another substance. Ink Lipstick, nail polish, grease, paint, tea, coffee are some marks. that may spoil our clothes. Removing fresh stain immediately is much easier than removing old stain. Old stain take longer time and require a lot of effort for their removal. Remember, stain must be removed before washing as some of the stains may become permanent when exposed to chemicals of the soap or detergent hot water or by ironing Also to be noted, different type of stain require specific stain remover technique and method different agent depending upon the type of the fabric. Wrong stain removing method can destroy the fabric and its color. Stain identification can be done by color, smell and feel. Color 
every stain has a specific color. For example, color of curry, pickle is yellow, coffee, tea, stain is brown and a grass stain is green and so on. Smell. Most of these stains have got a specific and distinctive smell like egg stain, paint stain, shoe polish, nail polish, they all have got a specific distinctive smell, feel. Stain can also change the feel of the fabric. and thus can be recognized on that basis. For example, paint or sugar can make the texture of the fabric very stiff and hard to touch. Whereas, Lipstick or shoe polish can make the fabric feel slippery. Now we will discuss classification of stain. Stain can be classified on the basis of their origin, now we will discuss the category or the classification of stains. First category is vegetable stain. Vegetable stains are those stains whose origin is from vegetable or natural products like tea, coffee, fruit juice mark and vegetable curry mark. Second category of stain Grease stain. Grease stains are those stains which contain fat component in them like butter, ghee, oil, paint, shoe polish, curry, Third type of category is animal stain. Animal stain includes blood, milk and egg. Fourth type of category is mineral stain. Mineral stain include rusting due to iron hangers and iron basket, fifth 
type of category is miscellaneous stains that include all the other stain like ink, grass, perspiration. Now we will discuss the various methods and techniques of stain removal. There are mainly two methods of stain removal. First is sponging and second is dipping. Sponging In sponging, an absorbent paper or fabric is placed under the stain so that the right side or the main side of the stain faces the absorbing surface. Remember, sponging should always be done on the wrong side of the stain. Take a soft cloth and dip it in stain remover. and gently rub the stain starting from its outer corners and then moving towards inward that is towards the center. Use light circular strokes and prevent the stain from spreading the absorbent material or fabric must be changed as soon as the stain start dissolving into it. Dipping. Dipping is the method in which the entire fabric is dipped into the stain removing agent or solvent. It is suitable where large part of the fabric has got stain. or where there are many small stain in the fabric. It's always important to choose correct stain removing agent depending upon the property of the fabric. Some of the common stain removing agent are borax, ammonia, hydrogen peroxide, oxalic acid, and ready to use bleaches. Now we will discuss category wise stain and their remover technique. 
first category is vegetable stain that is tea coffee chocolate in case of white cotton clothes if the stain is fresh then stain remover technique will include pouring boiling water on the stain and if the stain is old then dip the stain portion into glycerin or spread borax powder onto it and then pour boiling water into it keep the stain for some time rinse it when it start dissolving in case of colored cotton clothes for fresh stain soak the fabric in warm water and borax with slight rubbing stain will get removed for old fabric dip the fabric into glycerin or borax powder and then keep the fabric into hot water till the stain start dissolving in case of hina for white cotton clothes if the stain is fresh dip in warm milk for half an hour in case of the old fabric dip in warm water for half an hour and repeat this exercise 2 3 times in case of colored cotton clothes repeat the same procedure as done for white cotton clothes second category of stain animal stain for stain like blood egg and meat for fresh cotton clothes wash with cold water and soap and for old cotton clothes white old cotton clothes soak in salt water or in diluted ammonia for 5 to 10 minutes in case of colored cotton clothes follow the same procedure as followed for white cotton clothes third category of stain is grease stains grease stains like butter ghee oil and curry of white cotton clothes If the stain is fresh then wash with hot water and soap dry it on grass in sunlight If the stain is old then make a paste of water and soap leave it wet in sunlight 
until stain is removed. For colored cotton clothes, if the stain is fresh, then follow the same procedure as for white cotton cloth, except drying in sunlight. In this case, you have to dry it in shade. And if the stain is old, then again follow the same method as for white cotton clothes, but dry in shade again. In case of paint, shoe polish, nail polish, lipstick and ball pen stain, In case of fresh cotton clothes, if the stain is fresh, scrap all the excess stain from the fabric and then sponge gently, methylated spirit or kerosene You can also sponge it with turpentine oil. If the stain in white cotton cloth is old, then repeat the above method 2-3 times. In case of colored cotton cloth, if the stain is fresh, then follow the same method as for white cotton cloth. For old stain also, follow the same method as for white cotton cloth. Mineral stain, four type of category. Iron rust. In case of white cotton cloth, if the stain is fresh, rub lime juice and salt. In case old stain, apply dilute oxalic acid. and neutralize it with borex solution. In case of colored cotton clothes, same procedure is applied for fresh and old stain as applied in white cotton clothes. Miscellaneous stains, fifth type of category. Grass for white cotton clothes. If the stain is fresh, then wash with soap and water. If the stain is old, sponge the stain portion with methylated spirit. In case of colored cotton clothes, same procedure is applied for both fresh and old stain as applied in white cotton clothes. In case of beetle leaf or pan, for white cotton clothes, apply a paste of onion and leave it in the sunlight. 
for old stain apply a paste of onion and leave it in sunlight and repeat it two three times in case of colored cotton clothes same procedure is applied as for white cotton clothes except in case of sunlight fabric is dried in shade ink in case of white cotton clothes if the stain is fresh wash with soap and cold water if the stain is old soak it in sour buttermilk that is lassi for half an hour another method is to apply lime juice and salt and leave it in sunlight you can also bleach the stain for fast removal in case of colored cotton clothes same method is applied as for white cotton clothes except instead of sunlight dry the fabric in shade now we will discuss precautions while removing stains it's very important to remove the stain when it is fresh for delicate and an expensive fabric first try the chemical on a small portion preferably on the inner side of the seam which is not visible when worn in case the fabric gets damaged or discoloration happen do not use the chemical use dilute and mild reagents and solvents as they are less harmful rinse the fabric several time after the removal of the stain as some chemical or stain removing solvent can damage the fabric dear students in this lesson we have understood about the stain its types classification techniques of stain remover and precaution while removing stains hope you have understood it all thank you